In this example, we're going to use R to perform some difference in difference analysis, both manually and with regression. Um, and we'll also plot um, some difference in difference plots so you can see the causal effect um, graphically. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I have an RStudio window open here. Um, we're going to make a new project for this um, specific project um, by going to File, New Project. We'll go to New. We'll make a new directory. We'll call it a new project. This will create a new folder um, on my desktop. Um, in real life, you would make this somewhere on your computer, like the class folder or something. Um, so we're going to name this diff in diff. And we'll go ahead and create a new project. So it will close this current RStudio window and open up a new RStudio instance that is pointed at a new folder here. So if you notice the top of the console panel, it shows that R is currently pointed at desktop slash diff in diff. Um, so that's how we know that all the paths will work. It's looking at that specific folder. Um, we can also look in the files panel. It's looking at desktop diff and diff. And then up here, that's the name of our project here. If we click on the drop down menu, we can see other projects that we've been working with. So we're ready to go. Um, so we're going to go to file, new file, R markdown. We'll create a new empty R markdown file. Um, we'll go ahead and click on OK. And we can delete all of this placeholder stuff because we don't need that. So what we're left with is the metadata for the document. So this is the title and author information. We can go ahead and put a title here and call diff in diff example. We can put our name here. Sure. OK. And the last thing we're going to do is get some data not loaded into R yet, but in we need to put a data file in our project folder so that we can then load it into R and do stuff with it. So if I this is on my desktop here, um, so I can either create a new folder from R Studio in this folder, or I can just go to Finder um, or Windows Explorer if you're on Windows, and I can go to my desktop and I called it diff in diff, and so I can right click here and say new folder, and we'll call it data. Um, and I downloaded a CSV file from the class website um, for this example. And so I can just drag this CSV file into the data folder, and it's there, and we're ready to go. Um, it's this injury.csv file. So you need your project folder to look something like this. You have a data folder, you have your project, which is it tells our studio to point at this folder, and then we have the CSV file inside data here. If we come back to our studio and look at our files panel, there's our data folder, there's the injury.csv file. And we are ready to analyze some data.